Hi guys, my name is Jackie. I would like to share some of my retired, rare, discontinued Noble Collection items. Here I have my the Noble Collection Holiday 2007 catalog. It's amazing because it has a bookend of Dumbledore with his owl lectern on the front. We have Harry Potter's glasses, original retail price, $55. Harry Potter's glasses were just recently re-released. Now they're in a different box and I believe that the glasses are slightly different. Okay, so here's Harry Potter's glasses. I have never put them on. I don't even know if I've ever taken them out of the case. Okay, we have the pewter mugs right here. One is Gryffindor, one is Slytherin. I do not have the Slytherin one, but I do have this beauty. It is very heavy. <laughs> it is the Gryffindor pewter mug. There is this beautiful handle and it has the Gryffindor lion, but it's kind of cool because like there's the head and then it's like the tail of the lion as the handle. I don't know if this one is actually discontinued. There were rumors or talk of it being discontinued in the past. This is Mad-Eye Moody Staff from the Noble Collection. It's very heavy. It's made of resin. This piece is huge. I'm gonna put it right on the ground right now. I don't ever touch this. I always just have it in the corner because I don't want anything to happen to it. But I just wanted to show it to you guys. It might not be discontinued. This might be just one of those items that they don't ship anymore just because it, they just get damaged too easily. I believe it is possible you can still get these at the Noble Collection store, but you'd have to get it in person. Or I guess essentially a personal shopper that will pick it up and then ship it for you. So I'm going to put this away before I break it because this is, this is a little scary to me. <laughs> These bookends look incredible. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at that with Voldemort and Dumbledore right in the middle. We have the proclamation board. This is a Facebook market find. It's a dry erase board. It has two markers here. So I just go right there. And then hidden in here is the eraser. Woo. -hoo. So I've, I'm not planning to ever write on this board. This is the Luna Love Good Jewelry set. I believe none of this has been worn before. They still have the tags on. We got the cork necklace, the two radish earrings, and then we have like a, a beetle ring. Guys, this is like 3D. Oh, I thought it was gonna be more flat. I think they might actually be dirigible plums. You know, they're not orange. I would say they're red, but it's kind of like a, a dark orangey red. Moving on, the Mechanical Death Eater. This was original retail price, $59. This was featured in the Order of the Phoenix. That bookend set that I've never seen, not even in any other collector's collections of people that I know, uh, no, at least no one's shared with me that they have that item. It was original retail price, $195. Apparently it was a limited edition item. It says they were limited to only 1,500 pieces. I think next I'm gonna show you guys the Order of the Phoenix bookmark collection. It did arrive damaged. The glass is actually cracked. Anyway, it is still a beautiful item. I am still very thankful to have it in my collection, but it seems very sturdy and it has the Order of the Phoenix logo. It almost feels like a decal, but either way, it's on the inside of the glass. And then each of the bookmarks, we have a, a Death Eater and on the bottom, there's a little dark mark. Dumbledore's Army, we have the Prophecy Orb, the Ministry of Magic symbol, a Phoenix, Harry's hand holding the Umbridge Quill. And then we have a proclamation don't see how that is a bookmark. Oh, it's a clip. I believe this is from 2006. So it is a bookend. It's, you know, the Hungarian horn tail from Goblet of Fire when it's chasing Harry for the first task. So yeah, pretty cool item. We've got Hermione's beaded bag from Deathly Hollows. This is a handmade bag. It's very beautiful, very beautifully made. And there's the tag in here. This is where she had all of their supplies and everything when they had to quickly escape and go on the run at, right after Bill and Flora's wedding. I really need to have this on display more. This next item, I have the box for it, but I think it's somewhere in my basement. Just a really, really quick shot. You probably will not even remember this being used in the movie, but Dumbledore actually used it to like cut his hand to like, anyway, it's, it's, it's dark, it's dark guys. But yeah, this just folds in. It's actually really cool. You just pull it up and you just spin that around in order to keep it open, but it is kind of flimsy. Now it's not actually sharp like a knife would or should be, but yeah, 
Dumbledore's knife. Okay, this one's from 2017. I am very thankful to have this one in my collection. Thanks to Jackie of Harry Potter Pops. You are amazing. Thank you so much. She sent me a link of a store. They still had some left and I got one of the last ones. We're gonna show the Peter Dragons. So we have the Swedish short snout, the Hungarian horntail, ooh, <laughs> the common Welsh green, that's probably my favorite, and then we have the Chinese fireball. They're all in like amazing perfect condition except for one. This is the second one that I've purchased. It arrived with a broken wing. I just really wanted it in my collection, so I, I kept it. To me, just to even have the item in my collection, even if it is damaged, I'd rather have the item in my collection. I bought this off of Mercari. I don't know if I should say what number it is, but it's under a thousand. Even if I had number 5,000 out of 5,000, I'd still be excited to have this in my collection. I just always wonder though, are there really 5,000 of these out there or did they, just say out of 5,000, they did, they only actually have 500 out there. They have just recently re-released this item from the vault as well. Um, obviously, they did not release the exact same one. This one was pewter. The new version is not pewter. This is a sad one. So this is how it's supposed to look. Obviously, it's pewter, so it's like a silver color, and it's much heavier. This is super heavy. But unfortunately, it arrived leaning forward like that and the legs are so bent i feel like if i tried to bend it back it would probably break this is very sad i'm still glad to have it in my collection but i'm really sad that it arrived damaged bent like this i did get this from noble collection before it was you know disappeared off of their website forever the one thing i don't like about this one i mean it's an incredible piece don't get me wrong but the body of it is so long and i have pretty deep shelves but this still hangs off so you either have to put it at an angle or you have to show it sideways and so then you don't see one of the heads of fluffy we've got buckbeak aka wither wings absolutely beautiful item and it's like it's about to take off anyway okay my last pewter item the centaur there are not very many that I have seen in my experience of centaurs as merch officially licensed this is an incredible piece it absolutely Hands down, my favorite. I mean, I, I love Dobby, but just, wow. I can't believe this exists. There are also Fantastic Beasts items that are discontinued by Noble Collection. Totally forgot about that. But there is this, it's a pen. You see this in the carnival scene of Crimes of Grindelwald. Um, I don't know what the name of this item is. I should have looked that up. I'm gonna look it up now. Carnival Apple Pen. So this is the Carnival Apple Pen, which makes sense. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Then we have Newt Scamander's journal. It's just this tiny little journal. This thing is small. I don't know, really, I guess I never really paid that close attention to his journal in the movies. It's, there's no way it's this small. I wonder why they made such a small version. The last item that I have is still wrapped. I haven't even opened it yet. A lot of times I get items that are beautifully, beautifully wrapped. Brown packages tied up with string, like, you know, the sound of music. Then there's the Hogwarts seal, like real wax. This just looks so cool just as it is. Ooh, this is getting exciting now. Hopefully I don't cut the actual item. Ah! Or myself. <laughs> Okay, come on, just rip into it. Okay, here we go. Ooh, there's like, oh, there's a note. Jackie, thank you so much for your purchase. I am so excited for you to have these dragons. I hope you love them. I think they will fit so well in your collection. Enjoy, Emily, happy new year. Emily is Potter Tea Time on Instagram. So thank you, Emily. Thank you, thank you. This, she gave me something extra. It's the Goblet of Fire, guys. It's a keychain, and it's from Japan, it looks like. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Okay, woo, I'm getting a little excited. This has been on my wish list for a very long time. I don't think that this is supposed to come off. There's also a loose jewel in here. Wow, this is from 2005. I'm gonna try and piece it together real quick. It almost feels... <sighs> okay, sorry that I got a little disappointed on that opening. I finally figured out how to uh, piece it together. And the little jewel here um, that came off on the edge on the side. So basically like how this wand has this like red ruby, 
there's one of those on each side of them, but the jewel is here. So I will probably find super glue at some point and try to super glue that back in. Um, it took a while to figure out how to put those in. I didn't know it was gonna be that complicated. It actually is pretty incredible. so many dragons now and they're all the same <laughs> guys thanks for sticking around with me i finally got through the entire retired rare item noble collection items that i have in my collection it was a lot you guys take care thank you bye